In some places in this world, surprising and wonderful changes take place. The Azores. Until 1987, the people of these islands risk their lives hunting the powerful sperm whale. When the much cheaper mineral oil conquered the world, demand for the animal oil, which had once been so valuable, dwindled. Why should the hunt for whale species, whose meat is of importance, also be stopped? Perhaps because a species is now gravely endangered, or because it is unknown how many of a species still exist in the seas. Due to their mode of life in the vast habitat of the sea, it is impossible to count whales reliably. They migrate, are mainly underwater and thus invisible to us, and their lives are more and more threatened by other factors like overfishing, oil catastrophes, the use of sonar, extreme maritime traffic, and many more. Perhaps one should stop because the meat of some species has become very unhealthy due to the increasing pollution of the seas. This is especially true for the meat of dolphins and small whales. It is more or less poisonous. Is it easy to stop the whale hunt? Yes and no. Alternatives are needed to safeguard the future of whale hunters and their families. New sources of income are a prerequisite. Society shows an increasing interest in nature and a willingness to travel to places where one can experience these marvels. Whale hunt regions in particular often possess two things, an exceptionally beautiful scenery and fascinating creatures, marine mammals. This is a precious treasure. The people of the Azores and also in some other regions of the world have understood this fact. Now they are earning their money by showing the visitors the natural behavior of whales and dolphins within their only species-appropriate surroundings, the sea. Hotels, restaurants, and souvenir shops also make a profit. The feeling of happiness to encounter the marine mammals in such a natural way is without comparison. For some people, this experience is even a turning point in their lives. No longer their death, but the life of the whales and the preservation of their habitat is now important. Guidelines and laws now protect the animals. One must preserve and one must want to preserve the precious life, and they do. This is a benefit for both animals and humans. In the Azores, the whale hunt is now history, but it is a past of which the people are proud. Several museums and monuments preserve these memories and retain the records of important historical information. Whale hunters have changed into whale conservationists. Nobody could do a better job of tracing the animals and familiarize the visitors with their behavior and their characteristics. Nowadays, the only weapons on the boats are cameras. You can't miss the great joy of the visitors. Even the local people become infected more and more with this euphoria. Whale watching is more than a business because it is fun to bring joy to other people. It gives you a different perspective on the treasure on your own doorstep. The Azores have accomplished the change. Other countries with similar conditions for whale watching are on the right track but haven't arrived yet. They still carry on hunting for whales.
Meanwhile, Iceland has several whale watch tour companies. And in Norway, interesting whale watch tour offers are becoming more and more popular. In Japan, divine coastal regions and initial whale watch and dolphin tour arrangements offer new possibilities for an unforgettable nature experience. It is down to the willingness of the local people, the support by the authorities, as well as the readiness to take advantage of these unique offers, whether the transition from whale hunting to gentle whale watching will be successful. The door is open for a secure income and for a harmonious encounter with the impressive marine mammals. <laughs>